just about ready to go for a nice walk since it's on a lovely Sunday afternoon. My trains are just there. I've uh, got my socks, got my boxers on. I'm going to change my trainers on the settee and then we can go for a lovely walk together. <sighs> Yeah. 2020, 2022 has certainly been an interesting year so far in my personal life. I've moved into my new home, as you know. Uh, yeah, everything else is going well. Uh, apart from other than, you know that I'm in my new house now. Uh, everything else in life is the same. Daniel is busy looking for another job. Henrietta Biggles probably got her wireless headphones on and probably just listening to like ASMR background noises like rains or nature sounds. Well, she's reading probably maybe one of her favourite magazines she likes to read. I don't know. Maybe like a Hornby magazine or maybe like one of those uh, well it's just the thing is I've not read in magazines in years brochures or something that's what Henrietta that's probably doing at the moment so I've got my trainers on the only thing I need now is a drink a snack and I'm ready to go. Let's see. Um, this will need more water because it's nearly run out. Sometimes with my water bottles I drink it during in the night. So um, I normally I normally don't refill it, I don't. Bear in mind, when I go out for walks, it's like after an hour if I've been out for walking somewhere, it gets pretty warm anyway with my water bottle, but it is what it is. Now, I've got a drink. What snack should I take? Um, I'm probably just going to take some plain biscuits, which are these. Morrison's Digestive Biscuits. Nice plain biscuits and a bottle of water and you are ready to go for a nice walk. I think I've made my mind up of where I want to go. Sorry, when I get warm and move around a lot, my body gets a bit itchy when it feels um, muggy. Right. Right, my water bottle on this pocket. And no, I didn't throw the biscuits on the floor before you. Oh, no, need to be stuck, eh? No, they slipped out of my hands. Right. I need to make sure I have my house key as well. Right. I think I'm ready to go. Let's go! This apartment is certainly interesting comparing to the old building Paul Perkinson used to be. Things has definitely changed over the past almost two years since my kidnapping back in late 2020. Hmm, I wonder what my sister, Olivia Lockwell, and Daniel Dickinson are doing these days. Does Olivia still work with Paul Perkinson? There has been some new colleagues here as I have never met these lot before. The only people I know is Daniel, Paul, my sister, Chia Ling Heliponta, and Hugh Jockson. Oi, you. Who, me? Yes, you. I want to ask you something. Well you can ask me anything Mr. Owen. As long as it isn't too personal or anything related to my work. Why is your name the exact same as my name? Well Mr. Owen, my name has been Oliver Lockwell since the day I was born. My mother gave me the name Oliver, as my late granddad was called Edward Oliver Lockwell. 
My granddad's middle name is my first name. Our surnames are different as neither of us are related. Well I do agree that your surname is different to mine. But Oliver is my name and it should be only one Oliver in this advertisement apartment. I wish I could say it's mine but it's Paul Perkinson's. Your name being the same as mine is completely unacceptable. I would like you to change your name right now. Hold on a minute Mr. Owen. I can and will not change my first name. My mother gave the name Oliver to me as it's been designated to my late granddad after he passed away back in 2008. He died of old age at the age of 88. Imagine if there are two Pauls in this advertisement apartment, one named Paul Jackson, and the other be Paul Perkinson. Would you be bothered of those two Pauls because their first name is the exact same? Well it'll be their own respective choice of what they want to decide on. But since your name is the exact same as my name and I am more better, important, cleverer, and popular than you are any day, it should be you to change your name to something else. Like Richard, or Luke, or Cameron. Now hang on there Mr. Owen. That's not a fair statement. You cannot just control decisions, opinions and human rights to me. I already explained of why my name is Oliver. I will not whatsoever change my first name. That is final. Well I am telling you right now, that if you do not change your name immediately, you are fired. Do you hear me? F-I-R-E-D fired. Change it. Now. Oi. Oliver Maplewell Owen. What are you doing scolding at Oliver Luffwell about? You've already bothered enough people in my apartment and I will not allow this behavior to go unnoticed. You've already upset Hugh Jockson, Chia Hao Chicknug, Andy Alien and Rob Robot. You can't treat people like this. This is not acceptable at all. This has to stop right now. And I do mean right now. And I am telling you two to pack it in right now as I am in charge of this place and there is absolutely nothing either of you or Mr. Lockwell can do about it. If I were you Paul Perkinson, I would fire Danielle Mary Pop immediately for answering me back and being unpleasant completely to me. That is even more unacceptable Danielle than making a judge of statement. If none of you leave this building immediately, I will be phoning the police. I will not say it again. We will not tolerate that type of attitude and communication Oliver Owen. This needs to stop right now. I would like to have a word with you, in my office Mr. Owen. Immediately. Danielle. Comfort Oliver Luffwell to see if he is okay. Remember what I said to you, Mr. Lockwell. Change your name, right, now. Mr. Mr. Owen. Are you okay, Oliver Lockwell? I am okay, Danielle Mary Pop. Oliver Maplewell Owen is such a bully and a vile nasty person here. Why did Paul Perkinson ever allowed that man to tramp over all of us including me and you? I have came back to Paul Perkinson to start working for him again, only to meet a Daniel Dickinson 2.0. Daniel was already bothersome enough to me a long time ago. But Oliver Owen, he is ridiculous with his strictness and act of selfishness. Even having the same name bothers him. Really. Listen Oliver Lockwell, I know Mr. Owen is mean and too strict and old-fashioned when it comes to others. But me and Paul Perkinson are completely aware of how Oliver Owen treats everybody else including us. While Paul Perkinson deals with some serious things with Mr. Owen, me, Beth Bumblehug, Karen Bestley, Alessandro Pipichiahau and Graham Gareth are in the fun room. Would you like to come and try it out with us? It might cheer you up. Well since you insist it and I rarely ever have fun for myself as I always focus on work and bills, I think a trip to the fun room will be a breath of fresh air for me and a break from work and especially Mr. Owen himself. I wonder what Olivia Lockwell thinks about the fun room. I was going to go for a long walk, but then I decided to come back because... Because I've done like a, like a similar four or five mile walk on Friday. Uh, my leg felt very achy. And it started to feel achy again when I was going to walk up somewhere else today. So I thought, nah, I better head back. Come back to my bongo, take a pair of seats and we'll have a sit down. Because I feel a bit wet, a bit sweaty and a bit warm. And turn on the fan as well. In here is my medical box and this is just what I exactly need right now for my achy left leg. 
I took some the other day ago when I got picked up from from my walk. I felt really painful with my left leg the other day ago. I was doing it for my late grandma, the exercises. <sighs> ah. There we go. And there is my water bottle and my paracetamol. Normally at this point I'll take my top off as well when I'm really hot, but because you lot have seen this episode, I better have my top on just to avoid controversy. When it comes to paracetamol, you should, you should only take two a day, you should. You should have no more than two on a serious note. So, I'm just going to have them now. Next drugs! Hey, drugs are naughty! They're not drugs! Paracetamols are medicines, you know! I don't know where you get these silly ideas from. Santa's watching you. Oh, I know why you're trying to be cheeky, because I'm sweaty, aren't I? Yeah, you stink! How dare you? I had a shave today, you know, and a shower. And I got clean clothes on too. Charming, you can't win these days with people. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah. I should feel fine by the time my sweatiness goes. Uh. You know what I've been feeling like, you know, for the last few years? I've been feeling like I've been losing my enthusiasm with myself. Are we all, do we all sometimes lose our energetic, motivation, enthusiastic personality sometimes? What do you reckon? I definitely do. Yeah. Sometimes, you know, we all wish that life can have loads of great changes guaranteed. But the only problem is, if you're thinking of something like that, most great changes aren't guaranteed, I'm afraid. You can only take changes as it is, whenever it is amazing or disappointingly. Sorry, but that's just a state of mind. It's just a simple fact of life. And I can tell, I can read in your mind the fact is that none of us missed you. We just didn't want you back. Oh, I'm bloody tired of you. Mate, other people are just more popular than you. If you were gone, we wouldn't be emotional about it. Thank you. That's great motivation and enthusiasm. No, I'm really joking. No, I don't have enough. Motivative energy to be super jokey at the moment. I can tell you something though, I've watched the film Lightyear very recently with Buzz Lightyear, Izzy Hornthorne, Socks the Cat, Alicia Hornthorne who is El Izzy's grandma. I won't go into spoilers if you haven't seen it yet. You just tell who the characters are, that's part of spoilers! Well, I didn't tell you what happened in the film, oi! Stop commenting, no spoilers please, in high capital letters and four times ex ex exclamation marks. And why are you laughing at now? Just because I can't say exclamation right, eh? <laughs> Jumpy. Fine, fine. Talk to the bottle. You keep giving me the silent treatment. I'll give you the silent treatment. 
only joking. Yeah, I remember my days at Loughborough College. Don't know whenever I've always had more enthusiasm when I was there than where I am now. I know. I can tell you something interesting though. It may not be something super enthusiastic, but it's a fact. The very important thing when it comes to water bottles is that you always have to make sure, I'll show you, that these things are clean because around on like this area, all the circular areas on here, you get to see like these black bits where it's got like, like is there something like ground or mucky, like a muck colour, like mud on a rainy day. Imagine if you go through a country path and it gets all wet it does or in a field. It's a bit like that. Yeah, after a while you have to clean up your water bottles and they can be a bit tricky to, pardon me, clean them out and clean the lid especially. Because I've read on an article that a girl became poorly because she drank a water bottle. I can't remember what, I don't know if it was orange juice or fruit shoe. No, not fruit shoe. That's my favourite drink. All oh, fruit shoe lids are filthy. <gasps> I think I'm going to be sick. Oh, oh. Uh, no. I never said that fruit shoe lids are filthy. I'm talking about... These lids, you know, plastic water, reusable water bottle lids, you donut. Stop swearing. That's naughty. You get nothing from Santa for Christmas. How old are we? Six? No, four, four years old, actually. Very grown up. I'm only joking. But on a serious note, um, that girl really got poorly because she drank... Her water bottle, which has not been cleaned for ages, I'm afraid. Does she died? I don't think she has. No, I don't think she has. She just got proper poor to the point where she has had her school days off. Nothing related to COVID, just it's her water bottle with her lids not been cleaned. So always make sure you clean your water bottles, especially the lids. Because one or two of my water bottles needs cleaning and one of them you could see over there where the kitchen tiles are that bottle needs cleaning properly and I've tried it myself you can't do anything right you can't even clean a water bottle lid you're that rubbish that your whole show's rubbish we wish it never had any more than 10 episodes so back in 2019, you wouldn't have missed me if Lewis Holtz was cancelled. Precisely. Yes, nobody would have missed you. The creepy voice is better than you. Why are you insulting me for? Is it because of my bungalow? I said it once and I'll say it again. None of you are moving into my bungalow. This is my place and you can only be the audience. There is no more I can do. I hate you. I wish you were dead. I hope you get COVID. I hope you that much. I'm going to burn your house down. No, that's going too far. What are you laughing at? What are you going to do? <laughs> Giggling at her. Stop it. Do you like watching Lewis Logs? No. <laughs> Boring. I'm going to put something else on. <laughs> now that like this is done. No, you've done that to yourself. Stop throwing the tantrum. you like Theodore when they had too many Happy Meals and Haribo sweets and you still pick a mix sweets on Wilkinson's. You're like, this is you right now. I am fed up to death of it. What else is on? Put this down. And shush! No! Only joking. <sighs> I'm a bit alright now. I don't feel as sweaty as much. 
and I think you lot are getting a bit bored of me. Why don't you see what everyone else is up to? I'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye everybody. Bye bye. See you next time. Now, what should I have for dinner this evening? Hmm.